What is going on guys, your boy Vader Knight, and we are playing some more Age of History once again, and I am trying to think of who I want to play as. We might play as Ethiopia uh, for this video. I did a video where I recorded as Ethiopia about a month ago and it didn't save, so I've always kind of wanted to do a video on it. <laughs> a lot of people lately, they've been saying, Vader Knight, you gotta stop playing on easy mode or beginner mode or normal mode and just play legendary mode. I mean, it don't even matter. Like, I'll play legendary mode if it makes people happy. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I think we're going to do something like this today. Ethiopia gameplay. Everybody always says, like, legendary mode makes it, like, really different. I am yet to... <laughs> yet to believe that. I, it literally doesn't change anything. It changes, like, how much money you make at the start or whatever. It makes the other countries, like, a little bit richer a little bit better off like that's all i've really noticed and that that doesn't really do a whole lot in the long term but i don't know that, that's what i've experienced in legendary mode i don't know maybe other people have 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 experienced differently but like personally that's like all i've noticed it really does is it just gives like the the enemies like a little head start but it, even that it ain't that good of a head start i'm gonna get this city to a hundred thousand just because why not That'll give us like a good head start in this game. And we might as well get this city up to. I think all of our provinces are at a thousand now, actually. I think our main problem is that we're just low population early on in this game. Oh, that's what I fucked up. I forgot I'm playing in uh in the normal game, I need to get <laughs> need to get my taxes up. All right, what's our tech level? Uh, everybody else is already pretty far ahead in tech level, but we can, we're gonna catch up. So in the tech race, we're already pretty far along ahead. Why? How are there rebels popping up in Egypt? What's going on with Egypt? It's kind of crazy. There's, there's not really that many countries that we can pass because everybody else has like a lot of land. We're kind of like one of the weakest countries really just looking at the map or whatever. It looks like Italy is getting fucked. We could probably go well. Italy has quite a bit of troops. I don't know what all is going down right here, but Italy has quite a bit of troops. Hey, we're currently tied for the number one tech country i think we just became the top tech country in the world or pretty dang close to it so uh we're doing pretty good with tech i'm not too worried about the tech thing right now we're, i think we're, we're gonna be good with that for a bit let's work on the population a little bit we're gonna get this population up a little bit and then we're probably gonna start going to war with some of these guys what is the economy looking like? Are we like super behind now in economy? Uh, probably by quite a bit in economy. Top economy right now is India. Why is India doing so well? Two million economy? Like we're not doing that terrible. But yeah. I don't know who we're going to attack. It's probably going to have to be the UK because we're surrounded by them on all sides. <laughs> it's the UK on all sides. We're going to need a population if we're going to go after the UK. And the UK, they, they're allied... Or no, they're not allied with uh, Britain. They must have had a civil war. Oh, France is back. That's good. We'll go to war with France. Alright. I think Italy just died. So that means a war with France is going to be pretty scary looking. There's like a revolution going on right here. I don't know what the deal is. We're going to have to ally up with one of these guys. Actually, Egypt could be a good ally because then we could probably form a federation with them. And that would be pretty useful, actually. 
terms of population, like Ethiopia is the most populated region on the whole planet by quite a bit. But I want it, I want it to get even bigger, bro. We need to we need to be like huge or whatever. Once we're at about the same population as like both of them, we're probably going to go to war. I think we're going to ally with Belgium too, cuz why not? might actually be able to form a union with Belgium. That'd be cool, but I don't know if we can yet. I, I think we're ready enough uh, for war. We're gonna go to war with France, and we're gonna, you know, just show them what we're made of. And we're, we're not gonna take uh, a lot of crap from France. I think France is gonna get absolutely obliterated by us in this war. If we have to, we can call in our allies against France as well. And that'll be pretty funny. But we're going to take over this coastline that France has. And it should be relatively easy because I don't think they have any troops here or any ability to get troops here fast enough. Uh, where we would be kind of at a bad spot or whatever. They might have like an open border deal with like, uh, like Britain or something. I don't know about that. But uh, and yeah, they do actually. They have mil That's awesome. <laughs> they have military access. Oh no, bro. That ain't good. Alright, well we're gonna build we're gonna build like a little line of troops or whatever. Something like this would be good, but I don't think France is gonna accept that, so we're gonna have to actually attack uh, mainland France or whatever. What all does France own in the region? They own all of this. So obviously we don't really want to mess with all that. Well, we might. I don't know. But uh, France does own this. So we're probably going to want to attack France down here. We're going to attack these French islands. And then this guy is also going to attack France over here. Looks like the UK is preparing for war against us. I don't know. But regardless, we're going to attack Madagascar and see how that plays out. It should go relatively easy. So just like that, Madagascar has been completely taken over by Ethiopian forces. And we have kicked them out of quite a bit of land here. And, and they're, they're, you know, they're not doing the best, so they might actually peace out with us right here. Basically, our main goal from this was just kind of getting a coastline and just kind of getting us the basis of beginning our empire. I'm going to take these islands because they're good uh, little spots where we can like build upon or whatever. And I think I'm also going to take a lot of this northern Madagascar land because we're going to need some land just to kind of get a foundation going. But they don't want to accept that because France is a bunch of losers. Okay. Let's see if we can get all this from France, at the very least. At the very least, you know. And once again, France does not want to budge. We do have, like, an at. We are allies with, with this guy, I will say that. So, uh, what I, th I think we're going to have to do is we're going to have to attack the French and send the troops across into the French territory. So, allying with Egypt actually came in clutch because we're going to be able to send the troops across into uh, the French territory.
Alright, so we've hurt France quite a bit. I don't know why France hasn't just surrendered yet. But uh, we've taken a lot of their land. I'm going to see what we can get from this. Hopefully we can get all of this and all of Madagascar. That's really all we want. Uh, at the moment anyway, because that other land not super important. So we're going to try to sue them for peace for Madagascar. The main reason I want peace is because I want to build up my country a little bit before we go to war again. And I feel like that'll help us out quite a bit. Um, but if they don't sue out for peace, you know, it's just going to be worse for France. Because I'm going to push this war uh, until they are destroyed at all costs. So, I've uncovered that most of France's power is out here in Vietnam. So, if we send our troops to Vietnam, uh, theoretically speaking, they should just surrender, you would assume. And I might actually have to do that. I might send these guys over to Vietnam just to stir up the trouble over here for them. And uh, see if they can get anything done. I don't know if they will. Uh, I want to keep a couple troops back at the homeland, you know, just in case. But we are running out of options, and I do want to hurt France. And I know if we do that, maybe we can possibly sue a piece out of them. Because that's where most of their economy is coming from anyway. But yeah, we'll see what that can do for us. Maybe we can hurt France and take over some of that land. As for what's going on in Africa, France is basically done for. I don't see them making much of a recovery here. And I might actually disband some troops, even though it's not its not smart to disband troops. But the reason I'm going to do it is because we need money. And uh, these guys aren't doing anything. They're not essential to the war effort at the moment. They might be later on, but... They might be more important like later on in the war, but since we don't really have a lot of incentive to, you know, keep them there anyway. Since there's not really a lot of incentive to really continue the war anyway, I'm probably not going to invest a whole lot of money into taking over all of this land in Africa because we don't really want it. Uh, as for the guys on Madagascar, they can probably be deleted as well just to get us some extra cash. Um, it's really not a whole lot of people we can get rid of. All right, so they got a lot of troops right here. We're gonna have to move forward uh, pretty smart if we want to survive their attacks. And I think this guy, he'll have to like double back a little bit because he ain't that important right here. Oh, well, we might have a little bit of a fight going on right here. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens. I don't think we're going to win against France and Africa. I knew we weren't. Maybe we can hurt them in Vietnam and again, sue for peace. That's the main goal here. Yeah, all is looking lost in this front. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot uh, that can really be salvaged here. We're going to try to salvage a front line. But we're going to have to like retreat the troops a little bit and uh, see if we can rebuild our front line a little bit. I don't know if we will be able to, but, you know, it's better than nothing. Oh, France actually surrendered. That's good. That means we finally got land out of France. <laughs> they weren't wanting to surrender for so long. I never, I thought we, honestly, I thought we wouldn't be able to get them to surrender. They were just, they were so against surrendering. It was kind of crazy. Alright, so France is now stabilized. We're making money again. Uh, as for the troops, where did they all go when they disbanded? Right here? We're just going to disband them all. Because we don't want them. As for these guys, these guys can be disbanded as well. We don't want them. Uh, it should leave us enough troops to defend the country, though. Alrighty, so we have money once again. I think we're going to start working on the economy because we have a good population. Uh, the main thing we got to work on now is just economy, I think. Unless, what is our tech level looking like? It looks like we have fallen behind a little bit in the tech race. I might actually get us back up uh, just so we can just be at the top or whatever. 
All right, Charles, so far the development strategy of our country is going well. We've developed most of the provinces uh, above 50 now. Uh, we're getting close to it at least. And then after that, I think we're going to be looking like a pretty good little country. Yeah, we've just modernized our country. I think we're the most modern country now, probably. Other than maybe the Philippines, because they're doing pretty crazy, I ain't gonna lie. But, uh, actually, no, we are above the Philippines, which is kind of surprising. You wouldn't think the Philippines are that developed, but I think they're, they're being dragged down because they have so much undeveloped <laughs> land as well. But, uh, we are technically above them at the moment, which is kind of crazy to think about. Uh, Peru is fairly developed, but I think we are the number one developed country at the moment. Uh, in terms of economy, we are nowhere close to anybody, but uh, we could start working on that, and we could probably get up there pretty quickly here. Alright, so I've been kind of just standing tall for a while and letting the game play out. I didn't realize so much of the, the map in Africa had changed. Everybody's like imploded. It's like... Africa don't even exist the way we thought it did at one point like the UK They're really not doing like nobody's doing good anymore Germany you don't even look that strong like we're the toughest country now Other than this guy like he's the only guy who's really past us. I, w I would say I think the only thing we need to do now is just work on this population and and I would call it good with what we've done We're gonna ally up with uh, the UK as well, and that should keep us pretty safe. We might even ally with France, just because why not? Oh shit, we just got attacked. We're at war against a one province country. It's kind of funny, but... Apparently we've been declared war upon by one province country. Alright. So we have a 100% war score in Libya. We're going to take all this land as well. Uh, it's going to make our border look kind of ugly, but, you know, why not? We just have like a big arm now growing out of <laughs> Eth Ethiopia. Can we form like a federation with somebody? That would be ideal, would it not? Forming like a federation with like England right now, I think that would like push us over and we'd be like the strongest country in the game. I y'all, Raider Knight has created the strongest country known to man in Age of History 2. The Ethiopia, United Kingdom, uh, is now the strongest in the whole world, uh, top economy, close to the top population, but not quite, and we're basically the top tech level, we're pretty close to it as well. I think, give or take a few more years, and we would have probably dominated this game, but hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.